I am missing you so much. This is sad. Wide open over here. I scheduled two visits with you Saturday and Sunday. Yay. I love you, August the 29th, I took a picture of your charges. It was 7 plus Henry Company lawyer sick. We'll be there tomorrow at 11. Love you babe. Good morning, handsome man good morning love. I'm at work in deep thought. So I wrote low telling him that I will dissolve the business and close the lease agreement if he does not contact me this week and if he wants to continue he can buy me out. He is too street and is over it at this point, but I reached out so that I would not hear his mouth later. The architect I hired ice excited and feel like we can be open by Memorial Day weekend. I just want to leave town. Mind made up. I don't like the people, dot, I'm just trying to figure out what Trisha is going to do. After this court thing is over, Aru going to be normal? I've never had a normal life, it's always something crazy going in. I need to retire it. Everything going on makes van life so appealing. Just being out the way, even if it's temporary, it would be a break. I need a adventure. No worries. I'm excited about my move. I just need some property and a new location. Let me get back to work. I will write you later. I love you. I love you Suiyu much. Good evening. How are you doing? It has been a hell of a journey for both of us. My new lawyer hasn't came to see me yet so I am just waiting patiently. You gave me some good news today, but I have to see the pro of in the pudding before I get excited. I'm glad you made your mind up about your business and your future desires. So let's talk about this RV park. Do you have a realtor that's going to find us some land that is already running water and electricity with an abandoned building located near Interstate 75 North or South? One that has tax links from the government for non-payment off taxes. The second week of every month they do auctions at the courthouse. You can't pay the liens off, but you have to give the owners up to a year to pay you back. If we can get up to 10 properties, we can move comfortably and turn them into RV resorts. That way we can get a government grant and sponsors for the outreach youth program. Do you remember the old days when we could go to YMCA programs and some schools used to offer field day trips on the weekend that would give the youth who are unfortunate something to look forward to and to get away from the harm's way of the everyday life? When I was out, I was using my businesses to help the unfortunate. That means abusive marriage and abusive childhoods, the progress into men and women that uses there to bring misery in themselves onto other people as well. Now I'm finding myself changing my lane into figuring out how to help the unfortunate and the needy with their mental health status that may be affected by their upbringing. Last week, I seen a woman Auntie News say that she couldn't do nothing for her 12-year-old child. She tried to call the police several times to pick him up off the streets. The streets took him away and now he's dead. I often play back in my head the conversation you and I were having about your sister and how your mother's ex-husband mentally and verbally abused her. I can see it now what you were saying and how it is affecting her in her own way. That SWHY I tried to raise my kids the best way I could in and out of their life. But I always kept it 1000% with them and I never allowed any relationship I was in to come in between being a father to them. Some people dwell on their past childhood. Sometimes you gotta let shit go because you will find yourself in that same position your parents was in. I see a lot of people making all these programs up, but they're not keeping it real with the youth because they haven't kept it real with themselves. Sometimes you have Ito get on your knees and confess to God and ask him to heal you from your past wounds and pull that dagger out of your heart so you can open it up to be able to help another scarred person. I told you in the past I'm really not a colorful person. That means I didn't really like racially biased people and actions. To be continued that means if God gives them favor then I have to act accordingly. If you sow good deeds then you would receive good deeds from others. That's why you're here now, in your own lane, playing your boss position, and that is a total blessing for me. One thing I do know for sure, and I seen it with my own eyes, God has given you a third chance at life. You were born first, you were shot and survived. And lastly, your organs shut down. 
For a 95-pound woman, that's amazing to me. I listen to you a lot about how a young woman should act and present herself. I think that you would have great leadership in that role for young women who are crying out for help. Help isn't it materialistic, it's mentorship. Sometimes our own kids and grandkids don't love or respect us until it's too late. The honesty and love we offer them, other kids would dieto have in their lives. I know this because I hear it every day, damn near six months that I've e been here from these grown-ass men that are locked up with me. The thing I had tito of here is these 50-year-old guys getting auntie phone whining and cussing their own mother out. So disrespectful, yet you understand that some people never grow up. What keeps me sane is keeping my body here in this jail and keeping my mind outside floating in the universe. My biggest challenge now for myself is to find me some intelligent engineers to develop the fastest cigar boat because I've never seen a black boat racing team. I love you, babe. We will be great. What for end up doing? I look forward to us. That is a different type of class. I noticed that all the schools in Atlanta have upgraded their school buses. So we can figure out a way to purchase some of the old school buses that way we can refurbish them and turn them into motor homes. Then we could Airbnb them out and upgrade from there. When we upgrade from that standpoint after, we can give those same buses away towed homeless and upgrade to Airstreams and turn those into floater homes. We can also rent to own a seaplane and attach it to floater business as an attraction. Also can purchase a water jet pack as another attraction. I think kids will love that. We can have at least one celebrity spend time with the kids once a month to give back to the community. When I used to have my first starter business, I would take my kids along with me to feed the homeless during the holidays, get them clothes, and find them shelter. I would also let my daughters sit down and speak with the woman dealing with domestic violence so they could learn from some of these women's personal experiences just in case I wasn't around. I allowed my sons to go to substance abuse classes with older men to help them understand that substance abuse can cause misjudgment in your cognitive thinking and destroy your life. One of my sons at the age of 13 used to get off the bus and come sweep the floors at one of my shops. My son obtained that job because there was a time where I had a homeless guy who was a Vietnam vet that suffered from alcohol abuse. I didn't realize that my son was talking nasty to him when I was around. One day he slipped and I caught him telling then gentleman that he was an old bum and that he didn't deserve to be there. So I took the broom away from the gentleman and put it in my son's hand and gave him his new job as a bum. I explained that he would be in the same position if he didn't tighten himself up. Then I took the gentleman to get new clothes, got him cleaned up and bought him a room at a hotel. I got him some paint and allowed him to paint the whole parking lot. Seven days later, the owners of Bennett Street came up and asked me could he work for them doing maintenance. That moment was amazing just to show my son that anything can happen if you get a person a chance. So basically what I'm saying is, I don't ask anybody to do anything for me that I have helped in the past because I did it from my heart. So when I say it's a true blessing to have you in my corner, I can appreciate the reason you're here. I try to look no further than that. A lot of people talk themselves out of their own blessings and try to force things instead of allowing it to come naturally. Now I'm going to another conversation. I think after you talk to your sister that you should to get her to stick with you till the end of your new journey. You two could profit very well because you trust her. Forever, my love. I love you so, so, so much. We are so great together. Sonia, my love, big kiss. Love you. Happy I have you. I'm very, very, very happy, happy you are in me, life, my love, big boss, Sonia, I can't wait to see you. Babe, you did not call back. I miss you. I love you. Good night. I don't like not talking at night. Addicted, good morning, my love. I'm excited I get to see you tomorrow. I love you more every day. Me to my love. Good morning, handsome man. I'm on the plane headed Uto see you. Love you. Okay, love. Landed. Can't wait. I'm here call 954 phone. I had good time today, thank you. Good morning, handsome man. 
I love you. We never say I love you in person. I love you. Life believe that my love. Good morning, my love made it home. I love you. Love, I'm not worried about Lewis. He's up for the task. I know you only have this to focus on. Find the faith in this. You will be good. Thanks, my love. Thinking about you, always. Love you, good night, my love. I understand how you feel. Your life is on hold, no control, and innocent. It's hard. Don't stress yourself into a health issue. I am out here making sure you are good. I love you. Thanks so very much. Yes, I'm not going to stress myself. Thanks for loving me. I love you more every day. Always thinking about you. Missing you. Good morning, my love. Stalking you. I four photos you sent me today of me, but not the picture asking you for my love. I love you. I got you. I sent them. Under review. C. Anitaki, it you rather I did not send them four pics, noted. I love you more. Yes, I did like the pictures for you send Met Hank Lovino. He did not come see me today. Good evening. How are you doing? Yes, I did receive the four pictures you sent today. NOI did not get my Miss Santa Claus pictures showing my age now. Some days I don't know if I'm coming or going. I know you told me to trust the process with my attorney, but my anxiety is through the roof. You right, there's not much to say because an idle mind is the devil's workshop and I'm trying to stay positive. When deal with the negativity of life with small-minded people, you have little results with bigger problems. Some days I don't feel like getting out to bed because my back is killing me. My hip bones are aching it takes me at least an hour to arm up like an old vehicle. Sometimes you can hear the stress in my voice because I'm so used to maintaining being strong for my kids even though they're grown it's a true blessing to have someone who cares about me the way you do. This is the best time to about right now. It's winter time. I should be somewhere in nature enjoying my life as an older gentleman but instead I'm here sitting jail going through post-mental stress. Some days I truly don't know if I'm coming or going. These fools in here pop milk cartons so loud every day that it make my nerves it makes my nerves so bad. I find myself crying in my dreams at night afraid that I won't wake up and see another day. Some days it's so bad when I pick up the phone I'm become paranoid. Calling my own family asking me if I'm okay. I'm scared to say anything because they have my mind and my mouth handcuffed to the point that the government will try to use me words against if I say the wrong thing. They have me here in this cell, but I can't even use the law library for law information in my rights. The hot water is cut off and is so cold that I can't wash my ass properly how I intend to. When it's time to eat food, they leave the food sitting in the hallways for it 45 minutes to an hour until they change shift so it gets cold. I've sent several requests to the doctor because the food sits on Mr. Mock for days to the point I have become constipated and my shit has turned hard, even the peanut butter keeps me stopped up. My biggest issue is that I feel that I'm being treated as if I'm guilty since day one off incarceration for six months. That is not the way due process is properly performed when it comes to the laws of the United States. I feel like I'm in a twilight zone like the movie Get Out. It's like I'm trying to explain myself and no one is trying to listen. Like I'm having an outer body experience or as if I'm deaf and blind trying to express myself. This is a myth thing that you probably don't know. It have a big heart for people. But sometimes the devil will use the people you have a heart for against you to put you in a predicament that no one will listen. That is a problem that I wrestle with every night as well. 90% of the guys here that have mental health problems or can't sleep or cope with their own situation take Seroquel. That's their remedy to fix escape reality, but I refuse to free my brain on man-made chemicals. I remember when my car got broken into a waffle house in Buckhead while I was sitting with my back turned eating at 12 o'clock in the morning. When they took my bag out, they took all my forms of personal identification and my business and personal checks. That set me back. In my mind I had all the justification. The police came and watched the security footage and then did nothing to help afterward except writing a police report. So, in my mind no one is safe out here. Who can you trust? 
That is what made me come up with my security company. It took me a minute to build trust with the community and I have lost even that in six months. Now I have to walk around with a brown paper bag on my head from the embarrassment of a loft this I'm going through. I will talk to you tomorrow if I wake up what's really getting to me is that they are taking my cases and juggling them around to their advantage so they can keep me in here. So often sometimes I catch myself staring at the wall for hours. Can't really talk to any other inmates because they play games too. They could try and jump on my case to get info to give prosecutors in hope of getting out off to your cases. Ever since the police put me on TV, it has made me look bigger in the criminal world like I'm getting millions. Stalking me? Jesus lol. That's not a good feeling when people think you are doing the wrong thing to get money. That is not my M.O. So what helps me somewhat keep my head together is the great improvement that you are making in your life and that you're healthy. You say you're healthy, but you still haven't made me aware of your doctors. It makes me sad because you said last week that you might die. It seems like everyone in me circle has perished. Damn near all the employees I had are jobless and the ones that are working are barely hanging on in hopes that I get out. It's hard to find people who are good at what they do and would enjoy subcontracting for me. That's here nor there. I have so much respect for people who are dealing with mental health right now because you can't tell by looking at a person. You can be the handsomest man or most beautiful woman and nobody would be able to tell that you're struggling with your mind truly. Now I can truly understand Ellen DeGeneres' DJ who took his own life because pressure is a motherfucker. I'm not just talking about myself, but about everyone who was in my life six months ago that me journey has affected. I can feel your soul in my cell sitting on this flimsy ass mattress telling to stay strong. I have a blessing coming you have a great night. I love you forever and ever, and if I die in my sleep, I'll love you in heaven and in the next life. I just want to make sure that's clear before it's too late. I don't want to be one of those people to be in regret because life can change in a split second. Just like when I went missing for five weeks and you couldn't find me. I hope you got that money back from the other lawyer today so I can move on. It's only a few days left in this year, and I'm hoping I will be truly blessed to bless others next year. May God keep us together and safe. Have a great night.